I call the Honourable Philip Heatley. Mr Speaker, I proudly uh, stand and support the Honourable Nick Smith on the Housing Accords and Special Housing uh, Areas Bill because he has brought to us a comprehensive solution to housing here in this legislation. Not a man of silver bullets like the Labour Party, who, that's what they come up, they always come up with these silver bullets. We in the National Party have understood that there is a range of things that need to be done to address the, the housing pressures that we have. Number one, upgrade the houses that we've already got. I don't know why the Labour Party, in the nine years they were government, didn't insulate all the state houses. They were pointing around to private landlords saying, you should upgrade all your houses and you rent, it, rent poor houses out to people, and yet the, the government's own 70,000 state houses under Labour weren't even insulated. The Minister Nick Smith, the Minister of Housing, will finish insulating every state house across this country that can be insulated by the end of the year. Right. Upgrading all the state houses. The Resource Management Act changes and the Building Act changes. Number two, cutting red tape, very important. A th third strategy is consistently low interest rates. I remember the days of Labour, Mr Speaker, uh, during the 2000s where interest rates reached 7, 8, 9, 10 per cent. A mortgage of 10 per cent. You got a mortgage of $300,000, that's $30,000 a year in interest. Under national, interest rates 5 and 6 per cent. Every percentage rate on a on a $300,000 mortgage is $3,000 a year you keep in your back pocket. The Labour Party don't understand that mortgage rates matter. They'll manage an economy that will see 8, 9, 10 per cent mortgage rates and it's a disgrace. Number four, Mr Speaker, take home pay. The Labour Party will tax you. You will have less take-home pay. Order. You Order. will not be able to sustain a mortgage. They don't understand. And now, Mr Speaker, the Honourable Nick Smith right. is going to address the issue of land supply through housing accords, the preference to partner with councils to improve housing affordability. Why partner with councils? Uh, because councils matter. Right. Local community opinion matters. But we say this. If necessary, the government will intervene in local authority areas to make sure that land supply is freed if no one does anything. If everyone twiddles their thumbs the way the Labour Party did for nine years, we will step in. The Auckland Council will be the first council that we do a deal with. We've already discussed that with them. Fortunately, the Labour Party has been contacted by the Auckland Council and said, vote for this and um, they have Len subdued Brown. themselves. Len Brown's made the call, Deputy and <laughs> Len, Len Brown, the Deputy Leader of the Labour Party, has made the call, and we're absolutely delighted that we are going to be in accord with the Auckland Council to free up more land for housing. And can I say this? The Labour Party are against freeing up land for more housing. They're all about, um, they're all about density. And then we have the extreme people on the right, who are all about, all about opening up farmland and all the rest. The National Party are saying we need a balance. We need to intensify land that's already in housing and we also need new land for housing. It's a balanced approach. Green fields and brown fields, that's our, our approach. Can I compare that lastly to the Labour Party housing policy? This is their policy. Michael Joseph Savage built a bunch of state houses 50 years ago. So we've got credibility. Well, I say to the Labour Party, it will be a sad day when my son Bryn goes to his first job and he gets asked, why should we employ you? And he says, because my great-great-grandfather was a good guy. And the employer says, but what have you done? And he answers, like the Labour Party, nothing. But Michael Joseph Savage, 40 or 50 years ago, built a bunch of state houses and he will be turning in his grave knowing that they didn't even insulate 
those state houses during the nine years they were in government. What a disgrace. Order. I call the Honourable Mary Ann Street. Mr Speaker, listening.